Good morning everyone. Today, I will be discussing and presenting various biomolecules that can be classified into primary and secondary metabolites. Get ready to explore the world of organic compounds such as amino acids, sugars, pigments, RNA, DNA, cellulose, starch, sucrose, phenolic compounds, terpenoids, alkaloids, essential oils, toxins, lectins, drugs, and polymeric substances. Biomolecules are essential for the functioning of all living organisms, playing a crucial role in the chemical processes that occur. Primary and secondary metabolites are two types of biomolecules that provide the structures needed for cells to survive, such as proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. Cellular metabolism is responsible for the formation of biomacromolecules, and they form the necessary compounds to build and function correctly. Biomolecules are the building blocks of life, with there being thousands of them. Chemistry helps us understand their structure and synthesize them, often referred to as metabolites. They can be divided into two categories. Primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Primary metabolites are critical to the survival of living organisms and take part in metabolism, while secondary metabolites exist in nature but are non-essential for life. Organic compounds known as metabolites are vital to the functioning of organisms, playing a role in the growth and development of organisms, and acting as a defense mechanism against herbivores. Metabolite research allows us to gain a deeper insight into how organisms interact with their environment and the various physiological and biochemical processes at work. Biomolecules are a necessity for all living organisms, consisting of primary and secondary metabolites such as DNA, cellulose, starch, sucrose, phenolic compounds, terpenoids, and alkaloids. Depending on their structure and chemical properties, Metabolites provide a variety of functions for the organism. Getting to know how these metabolites interact with one another holds the key to comprehending the complicated cell network. Biomolecules are integral to life, actively taking part in normal biological operations of organisms. Primary metabolites form a set of organic substances that are vital for the growth and advances of living beings. These molecules are present in every living microbe and human and have an immediate hand in encouraging standard development, growth and reproduction. Secondary metabolites are compounds not needed for growth, development, or reproduction but contribute significantly to humanity. These can be pharmaceuticals, food additives, or flavorings. Plants, fungi, and microorganisms all contain thousands of compounds some of which are secondary metabolites. Biochemistry lesson today dives into the captivating world of biochemically active molecules, also recognized as secondary metabolites. These molecules can be categorized into various groups, comprising of pigments, alkaloids, terpenoids, essential oils, toxins, lectins, drugs, carotenoids and anthocyanins. Alkaloids include popular compounds such as morphine and codeine, Terpenoids can be split into distinctive categories like monoterpenes and diterpenes, with lemongrass oil as one sample. Toxins contain abrin and ricin, whilst lectins like conconavalin possess remarkable healing qualities. Moreover, carotenoids, anthocyanins and other molecules such as vinblastin and curcumin may also be utilized as drugs. Knowing the variety of biochemically active molecules available can help us create treatments for various diseases. Secondary metabolites are highly beneficial and of immense significance for human welfare. 
They include rubber, drugs, spices, scents, pigments, and aid plants in defending against microbial or insect attack. Understanding the importance of secondary metabolites and acknowledging their effects on our lives is essential. Biomacromolecules are large organic molecules found in living organisms with molecular weights of over 1,000 daltons, making their structures more complex than smaller molecules. They include proteins, nucleic acids, polysaccharides and lipids, each playing a different role in the functioning of a biological system. Proteins are used in energy metabolism and muscle contraction, nucleic acids are essential for genetic expression and regulation, polysaccharides act as storage molecules, and lipids form cell membranes. Overall, biomacromolecules are vital components of all living organisms. Biomolecules are molecules with molecular weights below 1000 Dalton, mostly found in acid-soluble fractions. Carbohydrates, amino acids, lipids, vitamins and hormones are some of them and they are essential for cell maintenance and growth, having an important role in the overall functioning of our bodies. Lipids are a unique type of molecule found in the acid-insoluble fraction. Even though they are relatively small molecules, they can actually form structures such as cell and other membranes. When these types of tissues are ground up, it leads to disruption of the membrane structures, making the lipids easily soluble in acid. This feature makes them stand out from other polymeric substances. Investigating how lipids behave in the acid insoluble fraction gives us a better understanding of the intricacy of biomolecules. Lipids are the primary components of the acid insoluble pool. Although not strictly macromolecules, these molecules are essential for cell structure as they are present in cell membranes and vesicles. Vesicles are membrane fragments that are not water-soluble and can be found in the acid-insoluble pool and macromolecular fraction when tissues are ground. The two chemical components of living tissues or organisms are acid-soluble and acid-insoluble fractions. The acid-soluble fraction is approximately the same as the cytoplasmic composition, while the acid-insoluble fraction encompasses macromolecules from cytoplasm and organelles. These two fractions together constitute the entire chemical composition of living tissues or organisms. Biomolecules constitute the majority of living tissue, making them essential components of all living organisms. Water is the most chemically abundant substance, with approximately 70% of all living organisms made up of it. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids are present in nearly every cell and serve a variety of purposes, including metabolism, growth and development. Biomolecules are integral components of all living organism cells. These molecules can be divided into water, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, and ions. Water generally accounts for 70 to 90 percent of the total cellular mass, proteins 10 to 15 percent, carbohydrates 3 percent, lipids 2 percent, nucleic acids 5 to 7 percent, and ions 1 percent. In total, these biomolecules form the average composition of cells. Biomolecules are essential components of all living organisms, particularly secondary metabolites which can prove beneficial for human welfare, such as drugs, starch, cellulose, and DNA. These biomolecules are intricate and are required for many of the bodily functions that keep us alive and in good health. Investigating and comprehending them could be a vital factor in creating new pharmaceuticals and treatments to enhance human well-being. Primary metabolites are essential for the construction of drugs, scents, rubber, and DNA. These metabolites have a major impact on the development of many products we use in our everyday lives. Without them, the medical, chemical, and agricultural industries would face immense difficulty in advancing. 
Lipids are an essential class of biomolecules that consist of both hydrophobic and hydrophilic components. They comprise a variety of organic compounds such as fats, oils, waxes, phospholipids, glycerides, and many others, and their sizes range from less than 100 daltons to more than 10,000 daltons. This aligns them as an important class of molecules to study, 